All right, guys, today we're going to be learning number 22 in Essential Elements, book one. We're going to start off by clapping and counting for all instruments. Let's go ahead and clap and count. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 Let's go ahead and say the note names this time. Sing the note names. One, two, ready, go. A, F sharp, F sharp. G, E, E. D, E, F sharp, G, A, A, A. A, F sharp, F sharp, G, E, E, D, F sharp, A, A, D. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go into separate instruments, starting with violin. So, instrument is up on the shoulder. Remember, you're turning your head just a little bit. We need to make sure that's actually on the shoulder. Not on the collarbone, this is incorrect. We need to be up on the actual shoulder itself. And we need to make sure that we're on our fingertips. We have a nice straight wrist. Our thumb is at that first tape. Just the tip sticks up a little bit. We don't want that for sure. Nice relaxed hand, but up our fingertips. Squared off fingers. The first note is an A. So we're going to put our two fingers down for F sharp on our D string and tunnel. Okay, so we're making like a hole underneath our fingers for the A string to go through. So this way I can play the F sharp, but I can also play the open A without moving my fingers. That's the goal. You don't want your fingers touching that A string. Your fingers should only be on the D string. Okay. Let's go ahead and try pitching it slowly. One, two, ready, go. A, F sharp, F sharp, rest. G, E, E, rest. D, E, F sharp, G, A, A, A. A, F sharp, F sharp, rest. G, E, E, rest. D, F sharp, A, A, D. Rest, rest, rest. We make sure that we're keeping our fingers close to the fingerboard at all times, even when you're lifting them all up off the string. Right now, all my fingers are off the string. Now they're all down. All up, all down. We need to keep them very close. That way it's easier for us to change notes. Okay, keep them super close to the string at all times. Let's play it one more time. Oh, and violin, sorry. Always make sure this part of your hand is keeping contact and the tip of your thumb is keeping contact. Got pause real quick. Those announcements come out of nowhere. Um, so make sure those two parts of your hand are remaining in contact at all times when you're playing for violin. Okay? Let's play it one more time, a little bit faster. This time I'm not going to say anything. One, two, ready, and. I'm going to move on to viola. <clears throat> All right, viola. We're going to start off making sure that the instrument is up on our shoulder. Make sure it's on our shoulder, not our collarbone. This is incorrect. We need to be all the way up onto the shoulder. I'm even going to adjust my shoulder rest a little bit. 
so it fits a little bit better. If your shoulder rest is uncomfortable, experiment with angles. You can bring this side down further, this side up further. You can make them equal, angle it. It's up to you, okay? But make it so it works for you and it's up on the actual shoulder. All right. We're going to start off the song on open A, but we want to keep our F sharp down. So what I'm doing is I have my fingers boxed down. I have this part of my hand touching the neck. I have my thumb at that first tape, and we're not all the way up like that. And then I've curled down my first finger onto the first tape, my second finger onto the second tape, so I can play an F sharp. But I'm tunneling. I'm making a tunnel for my A string. So my fingers are down on the D string, but I'm not physically touching the A string at all. So I can play both strings and get both of those notes at the same time. That's the goal in this song is tunneling our fingers. Let's play it nice and slow. Make sure you're keeping your fingers hovering just over the tapes the entire song, even on open strings. Let's play it slow. One, two, ready, go. A, F sharp, F sharp, rest. G, E, E, rest. D, E, F sharp, G, A, 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 rest. A, F sharp, F sharp, Rest. G, E, E, rest. G, F sharp, A, A, D. Rest, rest, rest. And make sure you're paying attention. Are your fingers staying close? That's so important to make sure that we're hitting the right notes every time and we can get there quickly. All right? I'm going to play it one more time, a little bit faster, but this time I'm not going to say anything. <clears throat> one, two, Ready? And that's how you play number 22 on viola. I'm going to move on to be, or, uh, cello now. All right, cello. <clears throat> it's cello's turn. Um, we'll get back up just a little more. There we go. All right, cello players, number 22. We're going to start off by making sure our elbows are off the instrument. And our left hand is making a nice C shape. Remember that thumb goes directly in the back of the neck, that over here, and it's not bent like that. We need a curved knuckle right there, curved knuckle. And right across from it should be our middle finger, which should be in between the first and second tape on your D string. I'm going to place my first finger on the first tape and my third finger on the second tape. And that's it, I'm not gonna put down my pinky right now. We want to be able to play an F sharp. And this song is working on something called tunneling, which means we need to make sure we're playing our fingertips so we can also play our A string. So we should be able to play our open A and the F sharp without moving any fingers. Okay, that's what we're going for in this song is tunneling. Let's play it nice and slow. Let's play it nice and slow. One two, ready, go, A, F sharp, F sharp, rest, G, E, E, rest, D, E, F sharp, G, A, 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 rest, A, F sharp, F sharp, rest, G, E, E, rest, D, E, or T, F sharp, A, A, D, rest, rest, rest. Sorry about that. That was my fault. I looked at the wrong measure. We're, uh, I want you to make sure that you're keeping your fingers nice and close to those tapes, to the string, 
and hovering them right over. Make sure you're not lifting your fingers way up high in the air. It's going to make it really hard to get your fingers back down, especially after an open string. That's, that's hard. So keep your fingers nice and close. I'm going to play it one more time. This time I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to mess up that measure at the end. <clears throat> and a little bit faster. One, two, ready, and... How you play it on cello. All right, moving on to bass. All right, bass players. Number 22 on bass. First thing, we need to make sure we know how to play our new note. A. So on your G string, your skinniest string, furthest over, you're going to put down just your first finger. That's your A. We had our open A. Now we have a higher A. This is the same A everybody else has been playing in class when they're playing their open strings. Now we have that A too. All right? So this song is a little difficult for you guys because you have to go from first finger on one string to fourth finger on your next string over. So. We want to tunnel, but if you can't, that's okay. Uh, tunneling means I have my fingers down, so I could play F sharp, but I could also play my open G string. That's what tunneling means. We have a hole behind our fingers that this string is tunneling through, like a train through a mountain. So if you can't do that, that's okay. Try and hover your fingers really close to the string, though. Remember, we need to have our index finger pointing up and the other three fingers hang out. They're a group of friends. Okay? So something like that. That's our goal. All right, we're going to start at the beginning. I'm going to play it slow the first time. Make sure we have a nice straight wrist here and our elbows are away from the instrument. We're not doing this. Okay? Starting at the beginning. One, two, ready, go. Now G, G, E, E, rest, D, E, F sharp, G, A, 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 rest, A, F sharp, F sharp, rest, G, E, E, rest, D, F sharp, A, A, D, rest, rest, rest. And now I'm going to play it one more time. <clears throat> This time I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to play it, it'll be a little bit faster. One, two, ready, and... And that's how you play number 22 on the bass. Hope it helps. Bye.